Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are receiving our commas. Um, so let's quickly touch on that mm -hmm. story again. Um, Israel did now talk, we about, gelato. talk yeah. about gelato. gelato. I think that is where the trouble is because if he said that, mm -hmm. then there's a problem. Because if you go on his Twitter, he's just emphasizing solely on the trans on the transcorp hilting thing mm -hmm. and i think he's using that as a distraction to kind of insist on what he is saying that he knows for a fact and that means that there is something that he has said that's wrong about gelato okay. do you know what i'm saying like he probably this statement was probably not backed up by facts and that's why he's emphasizing on the one he knows is backed up by facts do you know what distract me? you from what he said exactly before. yeah exactly so um I'm on, they'll go and see in court he's really confident he's been dragging her on twitter saying um and let's go to let's go to the court now let's go um Chape your lawyers, just dragging, dragging her and stuff. Mm. So let's see how that story goes. I think we'll keep on like following yeah. it and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, definitely. All right. He's definitely going to cut because I spoke to the lawyers this morning. Zlatan. Do who do you think will win? Um, I don't know. It's not between um, Zlatan and DJ Kopi. I mean, I know, and I DJ Kopi now is between Israel. And and that's what I'm saying. Who do yeah, you think will um, win? Defamation. Sometimes, if it's an opinion, it is. It is not defamation. I mean, if it's an opinion, that is when it is. This is definitely def defamation. defamation. Mm -hmm. But is... if it is true, if there's an iota of truth in it whatever it is, it is not defamation. Ah, uh, then it's so, not defamation. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to find <laughs> out what it is. We need to just find out the truth. All I right. think that's what will make us. All right. Let's go to the next topic on the on um, today's episode because we still have. A lot of guests waiting for us. Nigerian dance hall singer Timaya has slammed a man who took to Twitter and compared him to fellow singer Duncan Mighty. A social media um, user identified as Isima Ode had taken to microblogging platform Twitter and asked <laughs> who could win a 10 versus 10 battle of hits between Ebegri, Papa of Bielsa, and the self styled Potakot first son. Seeing the tweet, Tama, um, Timaya headed to his page and issued a stern warning to people who are fond of comparing him to other artists. He wondered if they see him as quote unquote less or who he actually is as to compare him to an artist like Dr. Mighty, a comparison he simply described as disrespect. And I quote, I'm about to murder Pigeon, so just bear with me. It like say, Una, they see me less, less. What disrespect, he wrote. In his own words, it be like say, Una, no, they reason me less. Nobody should ever put my name or compare me to any rubbish again. What disrespect? I what did you know. just say? I swear, I didn't and I get... Say, no, no, thank God I read it before. Like I that. didn't get anything. And I say, and I did with me. Guys, oh, well, see, uh, one day, oh, I'm going to read this pigeon smoothly. And that day, you... And add a bit to me, I swear. You guys will straight for me. What do you actually talk now, now? I read it now. And I say, and I did with me, say me less. What are you saying? Oh, my God. Hey, God. Voila. But, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Timaya, definitely. Please, don't come at is is it such a disrespect? Mm. Uh, and to, um, when you then take from the fact that um, Timaya has been in the game way longer than Duncan, I beg you, you Wait, can I finish? What are you saying? Can I finish? Can I finish? Timaya has been in the game longer. They say, than... they said, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. Like you slip your bone straight down. Yeah, no, so, so, this guy, so this guy will not insult me. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, you, you still think it is bone straight? It fell a while straight. Do you still think Can it's bone straight? Can we even But do you still think it's bone straight? Do you Moving on about Timai and Duncan yes, Mighty. Yes, please. We'll have this conversation after the show. No, we're not. It fell a while. Uh, anywho, I just feel like, to me... <laughs> <laughs> Voila. <clears throat> go on, go Thank on. Thank you. To me, I just feel like... Um, Touch your bone. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I feel uh, uh, Timaya is, is way better than Duncan Mighty, in my opinion. And mm -hmm. he has been, even in his works, it shows that, okay, this guy is talented and better. But in, I felt like Timaya should have handled it in a very different way. Fine, you don't like it that he compared it to other artists. Why must you drag the other person down just because mm. you want to prove a point? Mm. You could have said that, okay, don't compare me to other artists. And Duncan Mighty is doing great. Like, this girl, Simi, anytime they try to compare her to other artists, she's always like, Everyone is doing what they what they like to do, and everyone is great in their own way. Leave us alone. So mm. I don't. I just the only part I found wrong out of all this is he pulling Duncan Mighty. That what is this rubbish? What is he trying to say? That's, that's my own problem okay. with the statement. Alrighty. Well, for me though, I, I I don't see 
why Timaya will not be angry. <laughs> and I don't see why it will be angry. <laughs> and it's, it's what you regard yourself to be. If you think, well, when you are big, you are big, you are big. Mm. You understand? So it's not about the music. Now, I'm trying to confirm what you said now, because I know okay. Timaya started this career in 2005, and I'm okay. trying to see what year. So I don't know if we can find that out real quick and know when it started, because I don't think there's a huge... Um, career gap between them. Me too. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't so think there's a huge yeah. career gap. So it's not about that. It's about who has achieved more. It's about who has gotten more awards. It's about who has been on more stages. Mm. It's about who has done a whole lot more. So if we have to do that, there was a time that Duncan Mighty just went, mm. we didn't hear nothing mm. from him. Mm. Baba was in Portal Court different um what's it called now um theories about what it was doing in portal court and this and that but timaya has always given us it back to back there's no year that year in year out timaya has one song that would always Definitely. be a banger but Donker mm. Mighty didn't have that continuous career. Mm -hmm. Donker Mighty just came back after his feature with um Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So there's no way you want to compare it to Maya and a Donker okay. Mighty. I'm not saying Donker Mighty is a bad artist, but I can get where a, a, a Timaya are coming from like are you guys kidding but me but there's sounds, 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 sounds are not said similar it. ah, it's not similar honestly but don't you find the problem with similar the way he said it why, why was you drag him down you didn't find it did you drive me like saying that they compare me did not mention no, anybody no like, don't compare me to this rubbish like it has to be was referring um, to okay, really well so it's been confirmed that it's three years difference between each both of them so career. Who's, 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 who's first Timaya Timaya's mm -hmm. first year 2005 and Duncan Mighty started in 2008 yeah I guess so right alrighty well, I mean, I, I don't think Tim, um, Timaya can say that Duncan Mighty is not somebody he can be compared to. Yes, you can compare and then we would know who won th through your works and stuff, but that you cannot be compared to that person is kind of weird. So this is me playing devil's advocate for Timaya. I think it's more also about who Duncan Mighty is. In the last year... Duncan Mighty has entered the news for like ridiculous reasons. for like the mm -hmm. lowest things. Like not being Uber. Yes. And like <laughs> beating his wife and then lying yeah. that the wife is crazy. So I I suspect that that's the reason. Or collecting why. money from an artist and then he had to uh, yeah. run. Yes, and run away. And yeah. He had to arrest him mm. and beat him. So I'm guess you know that kind you of know? thing where it's like uh, now let's less now. Yeah, you don't be like, to, yeah, you know? I, I don't think he's and just And Tamaya has always been in the news for buying a Bentley, for buying a Rolls Royce, for buying a mansion. For oh, wearing only designers, for being in beef with Osh Poppy. Yeah. You know? Stop, mm. why are you the music me less less? Yeah. Like, are you joking? I think, I think <laughs> it's more than just the music for it's him. It's more like, than the music, yeah. like, uh, it's more of the achievement, it's more like, of the things. It's almost that like you the, know. Whole, the whole yeah. thing, like the whole package. So, can you see the difference in news? When one comes on the news, it's for rich stuff. Mm. And when it comes on the news, it's for broke stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You get me? Why? <laughs> just me, I just thought you could have just said, like, don't compare me, but there's no need for you to insult It was a bit more. I'm gonna Thank agree. So like much. it was a bit much, Read but it. does the person deserve that? Maybe I don't know. Like was the person called out? Eh, we 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 would the cap fits. Let him wear it now. <laughs> Anybody that says that must you compare me to rubbish and you see yourself as rubbish and you want to respond, then you see yourself as rubbish as well. Yeah, I mean, Tima, Tima, Tima hasn't name. really shown me the. He's not really displayed um, a character Arrogance. of like no. He's arrogant. Ah, he is How arrogant. See, he's kind of person. He's not dis arrogant though. I just think he knows his what. Ah, beggy. Mm. That's not arrogance. It's though. arrogance. It's confidence. Um, mm -hmm. it's it's confidence. Same like between confidence and being proud. Nigerian, Nigerian men, so people, don't mm -hmm. they don't know the difference. They don't know the difference at all. Even relationships, they, that's how they talk to their women. Because I me, mean, I don't have time for that. <laughs> anyway, um, I, what do you know about Nigerian? Let's go on. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I just feel like there was better ways to do it. But if you look at even the way he talks about things that like concern him, he doesn't hold back and he says it the way he says it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're not friends and they're not yeah. like he doesn't, for whatever reason, I don't know what, but he doesn't owe Duncan Mighty that level mm -hmm. of respect. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the same way with uh, Bonner Boy and and uh, Ricardo Banks. Ricardo Banks. Yeah. He, yeah. He, I'm pretty sure if there were other names that um, Bonner Boy was compared to and he rated that person even though he knew it was bigger than that person he could have responded better the, the, the truth of the matter is that they just don't think they owe that person the level yeah, of respect yeah. and that's where i'm going to leave it anyway for my people brother niger are we done with that conversation yeah, 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 okay next conversation 
<laughs> for my big brother Niger Double Wahala season three, housemates Leoda Silva, and for my guest that was just here like a few days ago, has stated that it is not compulsory for his wife to bear his surname. Hmm. Taken to his popular Twitter page where he used to make all the noise and shake tables, the Lagos State Indigent writes that his wife can go ahead and bear whatever whatever name she wants to bear. He, however, noted that his children will carry the family name. It won't be compulsory for my wife. This is how he wrote it. And let's really put that in mind as we have this conversation. It won't be compulsory for my wife to be Mrs. Da Silva. She can call herself whatever she wants. The kids will carry the family name, hashtag Leo Talk. It's been recalled that from even Plus TV that the reality star recently advised people not to marry into a family where they were not loved, blah, blah, blah. He talked and talked and talked. But um, can I just say, in, the, in regards to the intent, which I'm assuming here, it is fine what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But I think the tone was very, very, very unnecessary. You call your own family name. You, you said the children are going to be a family name, but she, she can call herself whatever she likes. I'm sorry, that tone for me was, was, just, was just a bit off. Okay. Like, it, it's not whatever I like. I have one surname, right? Mm -hmm. So is it I'm changing my surname because I'm an artist? or I don't know. I don't know. Let me, let me, Maybe let it's me. also because okay. it's also Leo da Silva. Like, if it was somebody else, I would say, yeah, you know, he was just lousy about it. But I know that guy is very intentional mm -hmm. about his statement. Every single word, he thinks about it. So why not just give the girl, like, it's her family name as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not a whatever name. It is her family name. You cannot, you cannot tell your, you can, why don't you write and say, my children to will carry. Because it's not um, talking about a particular my, woman. If I say, it's not actually give your um, opinion can i just ask you a question can you marry um if you get married to a woman now can you i'm the type of guy that is not bothered by such stuff like my wife has to carry a mrs ocean care no especially when i know that my wife is going to be as big as i am you get me yeah so um she's probably she's probably going to be a celebrity or something mm -hmm. you get so she probably wants to keep a name because of her job i don't expect okay for instance now let's say i marry uh, a Tiwa Savage, yeah? Mm. And then she says she wants to keep mm -hmm. her name because of her brand. It's a brand she's built. And I'm like, no, you have to change your name so to what if Tiwa she has no brand? Yet. What okay. if she has no brand? If she has no brand, it's all good. It's what you want. We've seen women that they, they, they grew up with a family name that is well known and their parents have done a lot. They have a legacy to protect. And then you see them say, I am uh, Joke or Shunke Ye. Uh, or my yeah do you understand no, so they will still keep their or family my or yeah joke or my or mm. do you understand so they will still keep their family name and then keep yours yeah. yes. you get that happens a lot of the time and men don't have a problem with that so if we can go without having a problem with you still keeping your father's name mm. then why would i have a problem with you say as long as we have a mutual conversation mm -hmm. and it doesn't affect your respect it's not like you're denying that i'm not yeah, married yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the biggie yeah. it's, it's really not a but big deal I, I, I didn't really um get any vibe from what he was saying. I didn't think he meant any in, any ill intent or any for, by making that statement. I think he just said what was on his mind. Mm. And also, this issue of changing your name and everything, I, in my opinion, I don't see it as a big deal. On paper, um, it says that I'm married to you. Your surname is there. It's not necessary to me, for me to change my name. And if we actually have a conversation about it, that this is what I'm comfortable with, you are comfortable with it. I don't see a problem in it. I mean, if we're talking about the intent of the conversation, mm -hmm. absolutely, there's nothing wrong. I just... The tone. The, I, 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 me. I'm, and I'm, when you were saying whatever, let me explain. That maybe, whatever was maybe, just a bit too so big. Like, maybe, whatever your name is, about my kid will be a, a lovely family name. Like, oh, bro. Like, maybe I can try to help him out on that one. I think the whatever is um he's not talking about a particular person so he can't be given this type of but he has a girlfriend he wasn't talking about he wasn't really talking about his right. girlfriend okay. he was just saying whatever like he was giving a general um um example right. and he decided to use whatever right. which is a general so whatever, whatever in terms of like whatever woman yeah, it is like and it can be on my can be your shinke it right. can be right. in your life right. you can like be he whatever, doesn't care. whatever right yeah it's okay. not like i, I mean if you read it that way yeah, no that not like uh don't speak to me again, whatever. Yeah, that kind of like, <laughs> or, or like, you know, I don't care. Like, I don't care what you do. Because, you know, you the way I read it was that, like, my name is important. Mm -hmm. And I will give that to my, my children. But whatever you want to call yourself, you can call yourself. That's kind of no, like I how I read it. Okay, well, I'll take that back then.